Hello, Blake Rudis here with F64 Academy, and today I want to show you how you can save time and money. All right, two of the biggest things that we need in our pocket is more time and more money. And how I'm going to do that is with this really fancy tip that's in Photoshop CS6 and beyond, which is called color lookup tables. So here is the after and here is the before. And I'm going to tell you that this was made after one click. So let's hop into Photoshop because I got a lot of cool stuff to show you. All right, so in the very beginning of this, I mentioned that I was gonna save you time and money, right? So let's go over the first one, time. So color lookup tables can save you a ton of time because once you set up a color lookup table, which I'm gonna show you how to do that in this tutorial, you have one click access to color graded images that it works even faster than an action like uh, lightning speed faster than an action. Okay. And the second thing is money. The other day I'm, in, I'm on Facebook and I'm scrolling through. And of course, because I do so much stuff with Photoshop, all the ads that pop up are Photoshop related. So it's great. Well, I click on this ad. It takes me to this site and um, this guy's selling two Photoshop actions, two Photoshop actions for $59. You click them and they make your image um, look a certain way. Two, two actions, $59. When if I mean, people are buying this stuff, but if they would just look in Photoshop, all this stuff pretty much already exists in Photoshop and you don't have to pay someone $59 for it. So where are they? Well, color lookup tables are what I'm going to talk about. Anything after Photoshop CS6, so CS6, CC, they have these things called color lookup tables. And a color lookup table is nothing more really than color grading. Okay, so we know color grading from the video world. You want to make a video look better. You can't just pull it right off the memory card and say, oh, I got this great video. You've got to color grade it to give it that mood, that look, that feel. So any basically these save themselves as ICC profiles that can be used cross platform for anything that can do color lookups. Now, I don't know many other programs other than Photoshop that use color lookups. So that's what I'm talking to you about today. So let's go ahead and get into this. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and go down here to our uh, adjustment layers. So this little half circle here and go to color lookup. And when you click this, it doesn't look like it's doing anything. Okay. Because it's actually not doing anything until you load one of those color profiles that's existent on your computer. And we'll go over this later. Now from what the knowledge I've gathered about color lookup tables as I've been doing some research is that Mac computers have more color lookup tables that Photoshop will pull from than PCs. And that's not necessarily because uh, it's something Photoshop related. In actuality, these ICC profiles are being pulled from your computer. So I will show you how to save your own uh, color lookup tables later and where those get saved to because it's really important to do that. But first, let's go over color lookup tables. So let's look at this 3D LUT file. From my experience, these different areas where you pull these from, it's not doesn't really necessarily matter. They all give you different effects. It's just pulling from a different spot on your computer. So you can see like, like this one right here, this uh, Kodak uh, F Fuji F125 Kodak 2393. So it's basically giving you a representation of what uh, Fuji F125 Kodak film looked like. And it does it in one click. So we can go down to these abstract ones. And here we get like this gold blue type of look, which is actually a beautiful looking look. You know how many different uh, adjustment layers had to be created to make this? Probably close to three, two, three, maybe four. And I'll show you how to do that here as we go through here. I just want to show you that these things exist here. This smoky one, this is a pretty cool looking one to give your image this nice smoky look. Okay. So these all exist right here in Photoshop already. This is on a Windows based computer. So you're seeing uh, these different ICC profiles pulling up. You might have more if you're operating with a Mac. So we've talked about color lookup tables. Let's talk about how to export our own color lookup tables so we can make looks like this and have them on the fly whenever we want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this color lookup right here. Just go ahead and take this out, delete it, drag it to the trash, and I'm going to make a new gradient map layer. So this new gradient map layer is typically how I color grade. So let's make this this phthalo blue and cream look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to color and I'll drop this opacity down to about, uh, let's say 25%. 
So really what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of color grading like I would if I was going to try to create a certain mood. This this creates more of a somber mood, whereas this gives you more of like an uplifting antique kind of mood. So let's let's create even more of a mood. Let's go to the curves adjustment layer and let's go ahead and just drag this curves adjustment up and give this that kind of flat matte look where our blacks are now opened up. OK, so I'm not going to go into the details of exactly what's happening here, because the main thing I want to show you is how you can export your own color lookup tables. So we added a gradient map. We added a curves adjustment layer. Let's do another layer. Let's add a hue saturation layer. Let's change this to color colorize and even further uh, colorize this image even more. I'm going to change this down here to color same way I do my uh, gradient map and drop that opacity down to about, let's say, 30 percent. And I'll just drag this over until I get a hue that adds to that somber mood. OK, so we'll just use this blue, maybe even increase that saturation. So if we were to look at these all together, let me press alter option on this. This is the effect that I'm going to receive with this color lookup table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all of these by pressing and holding shift and press command or control G. Now you have to put these into a group. So with this group selected, I'm going to go to file. I'm going to go to export and I'm going to go to color lookup tables. So you're going to get this. Let's change this description to something like bluish because the image is bluish. I'm going to put my copyright in there as Blake Rudis Photography LLC. Uh, use lowercase file extensions. That's fine. Now here you have grid points. Uh, this is 64 at high. I've done maximum before and you get 256 grid points. The only difference that I've seen between high and maximum when it comes to the color lookup table in the end is the fact that it takes about uh, three minutes to save maximum and it takes uh, seconds to save a high. But as, as far as the actual uh, difference in the image is concerned, I haven't seen a whole lot of difference with high as opposed to uh, maximum. So I'm also going to save this as just an ICC profile because these ICC profiles will work cross platform and multiple different um, color formats, whether you're in RGB lab or so on and so forth. So we'll just go ahead and press OK. It's going to ask me where do I want to save this to? Well, let me just go ahead and save this to my how to folder here that I've got here for all the different videos I've done. I'm going to put this in the color lookup one and we're just going to call it bluish. It's already there because, you know, I kind of prepped this beforehand. OK, so now we save that. Now what I can do is I can just go ahead and delete this. I'm just going to delete that right out. So if I go to my color lookup table now, go to color lookup and go down here and go to load, it's going to be on the device link. So whenever you're loading one, it's from your device link and double click and bam, I've got myself my color lookup table right on the fly. So how does this work? Well, let me open up another image. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to go to color lookup tables. I'm going to go to load and I'm going to go to bluish. Now you see how it's kind of a pain in the butt to load them like that. One of my biggest things is I, I want to be able to uh, have these color lookup tables be right here so I can load them at any time. So I don't have to keep pressing the load button to get these in here. Now, if you see, I already have one in here called Cool Drama F64 Academy. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get out of this real quick. I'm going to close this down. And what we need to do is we need to search for a color lookup table that's somewhere on our PC. So I know for a fact that this anime palette color lookup table is somewhere on my PC. It has to be because it's pulling it from somewhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm on a Windows PC. I'm going to search for .icc and anything that is .icc related will now be looked up and found. So let's go ahead and jump into uh, Explorer and find this file. All right, so here I'm in Windows Explorer. What I want to do is I want to search my C drive for anything that is a .icc or more specifically for that anime palette .icc because that one I knew was in Photoshop. And if that one's named anime palette, it's more than likely going to pop up if I call it anime palette .icc. OK, now you have to forgive me because I'm a Windows user or, or maybe uh, you have to applaud me. <laughs> anyway, if you're a Mac user, however you would search your main hard drive, that's what you're going to do. Same exact process. So I'm going to right click here and go to uh, Acer, which is my C drive and go to open a new window. That's my C drive. And right here, I'm going to type in anime palette dot ICC. And I'm going to search. That's my search block. Basically, wherever this is stored, that's where Photoshop is pulling it from. So that's where I need to put my bluish profile so that I can pull it up whenever. So I don't have to hit that stinking load button every time. So you'll see here, it opens up. It's in Windows System 32. So I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to say open file location. So I'm going to take this bluish profile here. I'm going to copy it and I'm just going to drop it right into this right here. 
okay? So now this bluish profile is in my uh, spool of drivers or color drivers, essentially my ICC profiles of where Windows is pulling from. So now let's go ahead and jump back into Photoshop. You have to reset Photoshop. So shut down Photoshop and open it up. We're gonna jump into Photoshop and I'm gonna show you how you can load this now. So now that we're all restarted and back into Photoshop, I'm gonna go down to color lookup. And in color lookup, if you look right here, right under anime palette is bluish. That exact same one that we just created, but it's now accessible where I don't have to press the load button. So you can make a bunch of these and put them right into uh, your ICC profile area and have them called upon whenever you want. So like I said before, saving you time, saving you money, because all this stuff is pretty much right there and accessible for you. So I think I have an idea of what you're going to be doing this weekend. You're probably going to be making some of these color lookup tables from some of the images that you've created in the past, or maybe even from some of the actions that you've created in the past. And I highly implore you to do so. However, what I've also done is I've made two packages, all right? So there's a vintage collection and a cinematic collection that are available on F64 Academy. If you follow the link below, that'll take you right over to there. The, each package is $15 a piece, but there's 10 different color lookup profiles in each package. Plus you get this tutorial here downloadable and an advanced tutorial to show you how you can incorporate these even more so into your workflow. And just to give you an example here, I'll go ahead and load uh, one of my favorite ones is uh, the cinematic winter is coming look and then the other cinematic uh, zombies is coming look and then uh, this candlelight by sunset that's a pretty good one too and then from the vintage collection one of my favorite ones is the copper tone so these are all available on f64 academy at the link below so if you like this video please comment share it tell your friends uh, because these color lookup tables can not only uh, save you a lot of time but like i said a lot of money because some of these actions that you find around the web are entirely overpriced when this stuff is right here in photoshop like it share it comment subscribe because every friday a new tutorial comes your way thank you very much for taking the time to watch this mm -hmm.